Okay, are you guys ready to get out of Blighttown? Because I definitely am. This place is kind of, it's kind of smelly. There's a lot of Shrek action up in here, and um, not good for the skin. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can actually get the, um, the armor set up here. Can't guarantee that this is gonna be graceful, but. I probably will end up end up getting toxic. But before we do that, I'm gonna get my homeward bone put on. That way we can just get the armor set and get out. Yep, yep, he got me, and he hit me again. Okay, he can't. Wait, 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 wait. Hi, go away. Oh, he actually gave us a purple moss. Okay. And grab this, and we teleport out. I know that was a bit of a mess, but that's how you kind of get the armor set from the bottom. On the way down, there's like a single drop-off that you can just grab it and go straight down, and you'd be at the bottom here. But that's how you get that armor set from the bottom. It's a, it's a disaster. And uh, I'm going to show you how to actually get a f another Firekeeper Soul for your Estus Flask uh, on the way out. I think I actually forgot this one during my last PC playthrough that I did of this game. I actually just remembered it a moment ago. It's kind of Death Valley, the direction that I'm going. Not too bad, not too bad. Just kind of um, our casting speed for our magic is a little slow, so I might not be able to avoid the toxic again. And I am already poisoned, so I'm going to negate that right now. Top my health off, because I'm going to have to probably homeward bone. Oh, you dick. It's okay, it's okay, it's fine. I'm going to probably end up having a homeward bone out of this next area anyway, but I, yeah, the mosquitoes can actually cause poison. But it's okay, it's okay. So I'm going to come over here. This is actually the, uh, the tin banishment catalyst. Yep. And there's a thing here. I forgot what that was. Okay, it's, it's Remedy. Get that if you're trying to get all of your um, achievements, actually. As you will need that for, I believe, the sorcery ones. I didn't actually quite pay attention. This guy's body is just hanging on for the ride. And now I'm toxic. Oh, wait, where the... <laughs> Speed run shortcuts. I'm already poisoned, so that does not matter. Oh, never mind. It actually gets rid of both. I forgot about that. The blooming one actually gets rid of toxic and poison, which is... I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> it's been a while since I've actually messed around with this little side area here, so I might get murdered over here. Go away. <laughs> you fell straight back. Okay, I'm going to duel with my weapon because there is... There are dogs down here that I'm going to have to drop onto. Okay, I killed one. Got it. Get it. Oh my goodness, we survived. Now, just Homer Bone, there's probably nothing else there worth your time. <laughs> as far as I'm going to... Uh, even attempt to go through. So we got our Firekeeper Soul. We have an armor set that we picked up. And we have the Sorcery Spell Remedy. And now we go back to Firelink Shrine. And thank God we're done with Blight Town. Uh, besides, when we come back later, we got to go for Ceaseless Discharge. And the whole um, Isolith place we got to go to. And I, and I do want to go to Ash Lake and the Great Hollow. I do want to go back there later, you know, just to kind of explore every area. But you know what about, you know, in terms of game design, this game here, I don't really know why they put the Great Hollow such a far piece out of anything that really matters. You never have to go there. You never have to see it. 
besides there's only one thing in the entire place that you got to go there for and, and i believe it's for like um it's like one or two spells and a covenant other than that you really never in terms of like actual direction go there so it's like if you're like a casual playthrougher and this is just me like trying to remember all the little things about the game you never have to set foot anywhere near that place and it's just kind of disappointing okay we have an added challenge here we're both toxic and poisoned and we have to make it back to firelink shrine with four estus flasks and big boys up ahead here will we make it let's find out not gonna lie i'm a little nervous watching my health here we should be okay <laughs> that was almost not okay oh boy we have one Estus I let that elevator up. So you can quit out there and it'll actually reset the elevator all the way at the bottom. So if you're in the situation that I'm in, just quit out there. The elevator will be at the bottom. But I do think it resets our poison and toxic. Yes, it does. So that's a little bit of a double-edged sword. We're going to have to wait this out. We're okay. I had a backup plan. It's funny, but off of just Estes Flask, I probably could have made it if I was a little bit more careful with my movement there, but we're all good. I say careful with movement as I jump and waste time getting to the bonfire. <laughs> so we're all good. Okay. Now, next, we're going to go to the Capra Demon. So, I tried to avoid going to the Capra Demon for a little bit there because I hate the boss fight. The Capra Demon itself is not that bad. It's the, um, it's the whole stupid dogs within the, um, within the boss fight room that makes it kind of rough so just kind of mind your footing the first thing i usually do is run to the left i believe and try to climb up to the little higher archway i want to actually bait the dogs to the very very top of the staircase and by doing that it allows me to kill them first of all second of all It'll, it will avoid actually having my sword bonk the wall because I'm going to be pretty much right next to the freaking wall. And let's pray to God I can actually get in the boss fog here without doggos going in. And I'm my weapon's not buffed either. I didn't have a moment there, so... Do as I say, not as I do sometimes. Here we go. Dual wield weapon. And it kills the dogs. Uh, oops. Not a prime example here. It does help. I was just actually literally, like, literally looking at the wall. There's the Capra Demon. He's... He himself is not that bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and buff here. And he should be not that bad. Don't let that attack hit because it will more than likely break your stamina. I believe you can bleed this guy.
see the boss fight itself is not that bad it's the beginning i mean you gotta run up the stairs and do a whole bunch of yada 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 hey i actually got his demon machete <laughs> sweet um i'm actually not gonna go to the gaping dragon yet because i usually like to go down into the depths with having warp just because it makes that whole thing a lot easier exiting the place without a bonfire kind of sucks not gonna lie it's a time-consuming process but we are gonna come down here and get our large ember which will allow our weapon here to be a plus 10 if i can get enough uh large shards which i probably can also i'm gonna take the super casual route here you can just jump over this ledge here and kill that butcher but i'm gonna take the casual route here just to kind of show how to get through this unforsaken place without hopefully too much hassle oh okay once again fire torch hollow dudes um overpowered <laughs> Okay. There's uh, two dogs down here. One right cha. Oh. <laughs> that was like the weakest. Okay. Never mind. He offed himself. No, he didn't. He's just right there. He's going to run back up. Dude, you guys see what's happening, right? He's like eye framing through my attack by, back, by uh, backstepping. had to take a hit to give a hit now if i can be super duper cheeky about this heh he broke the table okay this guy here is actually not that bad don't let the little stick in the um in the left hand hit you because that will flip your shield to get a parry or a repost off on you and this right here this lovely thing is our large ember at this point you may leave but we're not gonna yet we're actually gonna go save Laurentius, which is our bro that will teach us all the pyromancies give us a glove and allow us to upgrade our pyromancy flame Now, before I speak to him, uh, making sure there's no hollows following us because we gotta speak to him. And I'd rather not accidentally kill him. Thank you. I would have been a supper without you. Been eating the life. I started to think. Thank you. See what I mean? Look Thank at this you. fool. I am Laurentius. Or the great spawn. He's just standing there like. What's up? See, I knew they were going to come in that room. I knew he was going to follow me in. But... Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. Okay. So he's going to go back to Firelink Shrine at this point? Oh, hello there. Yeah. Okay. Which is pretty much where we're going to have to go as well. I am pretty much done out of here. At this point, you can avoid a dog that's over there. Don't even worry about it. Just kind of go back upstairs and you're all good. Oh, I totally forgot an item that's like literally right there in front of my face. Ah, okay. Okay, my next plan is we're going to go to Andre. Go to, we're going to go to Andre, then we're going to actually end up making our way over to the um, Sense Fortress. Yep. That's where we're going to go. And hopefully that process is actually not that bad. Sense Fortress is really, in my opinion, somebody that's played this game a whole bunch... The real first area that the area itself 
is a real obstacle. I mean, everything else before is just like enemies, trying to get to the enemies, just kind of learning where to go, that kind of thing. Since Fortress is really where some gameplay begins, did that guy go through the floor he did? Yep. That guy went right through the floor and did not care. Oh, come on. Why you lock onto the wrong guy? It's doing it again. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> okay. We're going to make our way to the bonfire here really quick. I actually wonder if this guy... Oh, we have... We got to get 20k souls, by the way. We need 20k souls for the Bell and Dragon Crest ring. 